Today we will build on our previous lesson on the basics of TypeScript map types and look at map type modifiers. So let's go. Before we look at map type modifiers, let's recap the meaning of read only and optional members. Here we have a type representing a point in two dimensional space where X is a read only member and Y is an optional member. Let's look at an example of the point in practice to see what we mean by the nature of read only and optional. Here we have an example point with the X and Y dimensions provided. Because X is marked as read only, it cannot be reassigned after the point is declared. Doing a reassignment will result in a compile time error. However, Y is not marked as read only and can be reassigned without any errors. Y is also marked as optional as indicated by the question mark token and therefore it doesn't need to be provided in order to create instances of the point type. However, X is not marked as optional. Therefore, if you create a point without the X property, it will result in a compile time error. Now that we understand what is meant by read only and optional, let's look at how we can modify these using map type modifiers. To start off, let's look at a basic map type that we saw in our previous lesson and I'll leave a link to that lesson in the description if you want to catch up on map type fundamentals. As a quick recap, this map type function simply loops over the properties in a provided type T and maps it to the same type by looking up the property P in T. So right now, this map type function outputs the same type as what is provided in the input. So if we pass in the point type, the resulting type will be equivalent to point. Now let's look at map type modifiers. We can use the read only modifier to make the properties in our output read only. And you can see that in our result. Points Y has now become read only because of this modifier. We can also be more explicit about the fact that we are adding read only to the output properties by using the plus token. The output will be the same as without the plus token, but it can help read better. We can also make properties optional in the output by adding the question mark token. And now you can see in the output that X has become optional. Now similar to the read only modifier, you can add the plus token before the question mark to be explicit that you are adding the optional nature to the output properties. And of course, the output will be the same as without the plus token, but it can help read better. Modifiers can also be used to remove the read only or optional nature in the output properties. To remove the optional nature, we can use the minus question mark modifier. And now you can see in the output that Y is no longer optional. Similarly, you can remove the read only nature in the output properties by using minus read only. And now you can see in the output that X is no longer read only. Now let's look at a real world use case for these modifiers. Here we have a basic state class that takes an initial value and stores it in its current member and provides an update method to modify its current value. We can create an instance of the class providing X and Y values and use its update method to update the Y to a new value and then log out the updated result. Now, even though we are only updating the Y value, we still need to provide the X value as the update method signature expects the full type T to be passed in. If we remove the X value, we get a compile time error that X is missing. And this is where the optional type modifier question mark comes in handy. This is a common enough use case in JavaScript libraries that TypeScript even provides a built-in map type function called partial specifically for this purpose. And if we hover over this type, you can see that it is nothing more than a simple map type that uses the question mark modifier. And now if we run this, our code works as expected and only the Y value is changed by our update method. And that's all for this lesson on map type modifiers. Smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you in the next one.